So, Tommy Hill, we're here at Motorcycle Live, uh, here on the showy stand. You're standing here as the reigning British Superbike champion. How did that feel when you rolled across the line? That, just that far in front of you? Yeah, that far. Him. So, you know, six pounds per second. It's good to be back at the uh, Motorcycle Live show, especially for people asking questions about how I felt going into that last lap or how I approached the last lap and how it felt being on the bike and uh, just being hopper across the line by what, six inches. So we've done it and, um, you know, Finally, uh, to be British Championship is uh, win the British Championship. So it's a uh, dream come true. You spend all your career ups and downs, injuries, knockbacks, and um, financial issues sometimes, and you just get past it. And to, to finally get there is, uh, you know, it's fantastic for me and a Swan Yamaha team. Now talking about Swan Yamaha, um, do you know yet if you'll be back with them in 2012, or it's still under negotiation? Or? Yeah, it's still under negotiation. It's uh, always a very political time of the season. Um, it's, it was really funny actually, I mean the Tuesday after the brands, people are already starting to move on to 2012 and not forget about this year but the team's are already planning for the next season and wanting to move ahead, sponsors are keen to know what I'm doing for next year and it's just um, political times and trying to sort out the deals, getting the right deal and whatever I want to do I want to try and still, you know, still remain at the front of whatever championship and uh, was in big talks with uh, World Superbike team. Uh, people have probably heard the news, you know, and um, that's not available at the moment. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably be back in British Superbikes if I was totally honest. Um, not not signed any contracts yet, but you know, Yamaha could be a good option for me. Um, I've just won the championship with them um, to sort of retain the number one plate, if you like. And for BSB, that works out well to try and keep the champion in the British Championship. And I believe the British Superbikes are still growing. You know, it's. Uh, what we provided in the last race was one of the most talked about races in history. So for me to be part of that is, uh, is good for me, good for the championship and the sponsors. Um, we heard this morning that we'll be going to Assen for BSB. Have you, you've raced there in the World Series of Bikes. Um, do you think it's a good thing for the series to go abroad? Yeah, we raced at Assen with our Altair Honda team. And um, yeah, I got about three quarters of the way through the race and run out of fuel in both of them. Um, but, it's a good track and uh, it's fantastic for British fans. It's a little bit of a trip over on the boat. It's, just, it's the equivalent of me maybe going to Croft. So um, across the water, a bit more enjoyment for the fans. And um, British Superbikes now, I think this is European Superbikes now. And uh, you know, I'm sure there's a bit of a plan behind it. And uh, it's good to maybe widen it out to the European um, you know, scene. And um, it is, it's good for us all. New circuits and um, a bit more enjoyment and uh, excitement of us going to another track could bring in some new fans for British motorcycle racing and um, it's enjoyable for us going to a different track. You know, I'm not saying I'm getting bored of the tracks in the UK, it's just uh, something new to tackle and another hurdle to get over and get the bike set up around there. So it's pretty cool that they're looking to expand. Uh, should you end up on a Yamaha next year, we've got the new rules. Um, what do you think are going to be the biggest challenges for you? I think like at the moment, you know, there's certain manufacturers out there that maybe have a head start on other riders or other teams or if riders have already signed for certain teams, but it's always one of those things no one really knows until we get there out on the track and uh, see, see where we're at, but I know the team work hard and uh, trying to improve the package and I think next year it's very important to look at the chassis. Uh, the electronics wise, yes, there's a few adjustments to different mapping settings you can run with a new Motec control system, but I know they're talking about some big updates with the Yamaha chassis, new tank configuration and uh, new, new shop positioning and stuff like that. So it's a lot of talk of you know step ups and uh, movements in technology for the Yamaha Superbike. So that could work well for us. Um, I know the airbox regulation as well is uh, working out for us as well. So you know uh, talking to, to the Yamaha team all that is part of part of the deal, you know, making sure that's right, you know, before I do a deal, making sure all these um, avenues are, are, are gone over and checked by me because in the day I'm racing that bike and I want to try and go out there and keep hold of the number one place.